he used to call me the Joker, and I would tell him I'm the Dark Knight, your worst enemy. So <laughs> that is Gene Siskowitz, the Dark Knight, and he's a pigeon racer. I love pigeons. You know, I just I've had them all my life. I tell the guys at the club I'm a, not a pigeon racer, I'm a pigeon lover. The way pigeon racing works is you release them from one place and you time how long it takes for them to get home. Once Gene opens this door, the race begins. All right, so the race is on. It is 9.14. Got to make it back to West Dallas before these pigeons do from Johnson Creek. Wish me luck. The drive was about 42 miles. These pigeons are bred for racing, like beagles are bred for hunting. They can fly about 50 miles an hour, which made me nervous. I wouldn't make it back in time to get a shot of their return. So we're about 0.1 miles away from his house. It's 9.54. Here, hopefully we beat the pigeons. All right, so we beat the pigeons back home. Now it's just time to get the shot. And there is the shot we worked so hard for. I fed him a little extra and uh, in I want to make sure you get the picture. Gene has been racing pigeons for more than 60 years. His father got him hooked. It's my favorite hobby, let's put it that way. He trains pigeons using feeding techniques to teach the birds where their meals come from so when they are released, they fly back to his house. These pigeons are bred to come home. Plus, each bird has a special tag on its foot, confirming it's one of Jean's. When I was younger, I used to love hunting, fishing, pigeons, and I, and I could do all kinds of sports. Now, I prefer just hanging out in the backyard watching the pigeons. Gene trains his pigeons with the flight from Johnson Creek twice a week. In the summer, he races most weekends. There isn't any money involved. It's just for the love of the race and keeping a tradition alive. In West Dallas, James Grow, TMJ4 News.